young men come to college for an academic education, but it certainly helps a lot for them to get some hard knocks and some worthwhile experiences. These men on the football squad learn the habit of clean living and physical health that was so ably taught us by the Greeks. They learned the lesson of cooperation, which is brought down to us by the three musketeers. And they're saying all for one and one for all. And when I think of all these hundreds of thousands of young men playing football this fall, out there on the gridiron, giving all they have, showing those qualities of loyalty, chivalry, courage, spirit of self-sacrifice, I can't help but think that perhaps you'd be interested in seeing some pictures of the game and particularly some of the high spots and some of the great games of past years. Signals! 36, 49, 22. One low. Oh, too high, Metzger, too high. And you didn't get that man out there, Leahy. The story's familiar. The he was no one. He became famous and beloved. Come on, Steffi. Dude, Steffi, where's the old ginger? Let's talk to the boys and have some fun. All right. Newt Rockney was known for coaching football, but what he did best was promote his sport, his school, and himself. He transformed a small Midwestern college into the most famous Catholic university in America. He changed the football field from a place where boys play a game to a place where huge profits are made and legendary heroes are created. Newt Rockney brought football into the modern world. The best word for rock was charisma. It's a word that's much in vogue today, but 40, 50 years ago, no one used the word charisma. They had to invent it for Newt Rockney. Rock trained his teams tirelessly and fired them with inspiration. Against the best in the country, his fighting Irish chalked up an almost unbelievable 105 victories against only 12 defeats and five ties. The name Notre Dame became a gridiron byword. Rockney himself did more to popularize football than any other man. No publicist had to falsify the Rockney background. When Rockney comes forward on the stage in the 1920s, he comes forward as the perfect embodiment of the American immigrant experience. And he also says to all the immigrant boys of the time and all the immigrant men of the time, you can make it in this society, but you gotta follow the rules. You gotta be dedicated, you gotta be hardworking, you gotta give of yourself. Uh, those are the uh, prerequisites, those are the barriers that you have to overcome, but if you do, You'll be successful, you'll be a winner. <laughs>